In a civilized society, individual rights are declared and enforced by the ordinary law or by the constitution of the land. This right implies a duty not to abuse the guaranteed right slash protected. Right for it is guaranteed to every citizen alike. It would be hollow to others unless one individual respects the similar rights of others. One of the cherished rights protected by the law of the land, i.e., the Constitution, is freedom of speech. This freedom is guaranteed to every citizen irrespective of caste, creed, religion, faith, belief, and sex. Freedom of speech is an expression of one thought and belief. This freedom is to communicate one's idea and not to defame others, or to defraud others, or to insult people of differing views, faith, or belief. If this freedom is misused, then the social value of the expression is outweighed by the social interest in public order, morality, and the like. Such utterances are, therefore, outside the area of constitutionally protected speech. A fundamental right is a right which is derived from the natural rights and it's protected by the Constitution. A fundamental right is so called because it is secured not by the ordinary law, but by the fundamental law which cannot be altered by the ordinary process of legislation. It's also called entrenched rights because they are guaranteed by a written constitution so that they cannot be taken away or abridged without amending the constitution itself. It is called constitutional right because they are enforceable by remedies specified in the constitution. Hence the constitution has recognized personal liberties as fundamental rights. Personal liberties means the right to do as one pleases within the law. We all know the first right attached to the person is the freedom of life, which means the right to live. Next comes freedom of the person, which means that one's body shall not be touched, violated, arrested, or imprisoned except under the authority of law.